Tell us, Dad. Today we got a Mikan KP23, 27 ounce, ASA. Strike first, strike hard. That's all it was. That whole all right, time. so Brian kind of lined up the time, usual specs you're used to seeing out of this. If you're familiar with the Kyle Pearson line, then you understand what we're already dealing with. Like he said, 12 inch barrel, 27 ounce, half ounce inload, all the usual stuff we're used to seeing. So, what we're going to do is just take a quick look at this thing when it was brand new out of the wrapper. It was honestly a little underwhelming, but we could tell that the performance was getting better and better and better the more time went on. We got about 75 swings on it on this day. And I wanted to revisit this before I put out my full review. So we're going to check out those initial swings. And then once we cut out and come back in, I'll catch up with you and we'll go over some more details of the back. I hate 330 on the line. Checking in on another day here. We got me and Brian and Danny out hitting this thing. And we picked up right where we left off from the last video. This bat has about 75 swings on it. And like I said, I wanted to get a chance to get some more swings on this, mainly from the standpoint of you could tell it wanted to break in. You could tell it wanted to get better, but it was just doing it really, really slow. So the three of us put some more swings on it on this day. At about the 40 swing mark on this day here, which would put it around 100 to 110 on the bat, it like hit a whole different gear. The sound changed, the performance got a lot better, and we all noticed it was performing dramatically better. The sweet spot had finally become responsive. The whole barrel was usable at that point. It was kind of weird how it just flipped a switch and went from just kind of blah to pretty good, but hey, you take it however you can get it, right? Get this quick little bit of stuff out of the way. Let's head over to the labs. Right, so this one came in at 27.5 on a scale. Compression while it was brand new. Compression after we finished up. Needle hardly moved. I was impressed with that. And the only thing worth noting cosmetically or structurally or anything with this bat is this happened after about 25 swings. And it never got any worse. It never got any better. The one thing I can tell you is don't jam these back in. Let them come out. Send it to the manufacturer. Have it fixed. Just fix it the right way. Have someone fix it. Don't just smash it back in. It will mushroom the end of the bat, and then you'll never get it to stay in, no matter how much glue you put in it. But I will say that this is not moved. Since then, we've beat on it, beat on it, beat on it, and has not gotten any worse. But when I find things like that, I like to try and mention them, just so it's something you can be aware of. So as we're catching up with this here, just to kind of finish up and give some final thoughts on this thing, I did enjoy this bat. The last few years of the ASA KP23, the weighting has been kind of like weird. Like there's a little bit of something in the end of the bat, but it's not all the way yeah, towards the end. Right. And honestly, it honestly had more of a mid-loaded feel to it. But this <laughs> year's model did a good job of having that load all the way in the end of the bat. And I feel like that genuinely made a difference in how it performed. It was able to control it a little better. And I will say that like 100 swings in, this thing was not all that impressive of a softball bat. I'm going to be a straight shooter with you. You're going to have to give this thing time to break in. I'm not saying that you can't take it out of the wrapper and possibly do well oh God, with it, like but we definitely felt like this thing needed to break in in order to get good. So, so patience is a virtue here. It is BP Hero approved. Mikan has done a great job over the years of making bats with these specs and making it usable for any type of hitter. The 12 inch barrel, the half ounce inload, they complement each other very well in terms of control and still being able to drive and use power to hit the ball hard. That set of specs is definitely a universal fit for just about anybody on a softball field. Anybody can pick up a bat with those specs and do well with it. And that was the case here as well. Give it time to break in and you'll enjoy it. That's all I got for this one though. We're gonna let you check out the rest of the video here where we're swinging this thing. Thanks to my man Brian for coming out and hitting with us. Thanks to my man Danny for coming out and hitting with us. Thanks to Clutch Apparel for the Baby Gap Medium shirt for Danny. Thanks to you guys for stopping in and checking it out. Sweetheart, in case you hit it, BP Hero catch you next time. That swing was sponsored by the VP Hero. Good ball, Jesse. Dude, that thing sliced from center field to fucking. Good swing, Jess. That's all, Gohan. Ooh.
Dude, the fact that he does that with as much precision as he does, oh, it's insane. Two. Oh. Hit it. Mid thigh high. Not mad about those. Just no. 